Stairs and Railings, Edit Stair by Sketch. So we're going to be editing this stair that we've made. So let's go to our basement and let's just zoom in here. So you can see here, here's our sketch, but really it's sort of not in the right place. We want to maybe move it back and a couple of things you can do here. Number one, you can click on the stair. Keep in mind though that the stair and the railing, there's a railing attached to this and you can just see it if you hover over right there and click on it, it's a railing. Those two things, although they are attached to each other, they're separate. So if you're going to move this, you've got to move the whole thing together. So I'm just going to highlight it all, go to the Move tool, click Move, then I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to find this endpoint, and I'm just going to move it to that endpoint right there. Okay, so that's a little bit better. But what if you want to actually edit the sketch? Maybe you want to add another riser or take one away. Well, what I can do is just click on the stair, and make sure you do get the stair, not the railing, and you can do that by just clicking the middle of a riser. Now I'm going to click on Edit Sketch. The green lines are the inside edge of the stringer or the far line of the tread, depending on how you look at it. But what's going to happen in the end here is the stringer is going to sit outside of this. So what can we do with this? Well, we can move things around. So if I wanted to move this whole run, I could just window. So I'm clicking and holding on my mouse, and then I let go, and then it just selects that run. And then I could go to the Move tool, click a point on the stair, and I'm just going to move it over by two inches, just like that. Okay, and then I can roll back. The black lines are the treads, and normally you really don't want to touch these, but I'll show you what you can do. What we're going to do is just get rid of one of these, so I'll say this one here, so we'll just delete it. So that'll make the landing come out a little bit farther, so as you come down, the railing can turn a little bit better we have another one remaining. So what can we do? Well, let's just add one. So we're going to click on this one right here, and then I'm going to go to the Copy tool. So this is Copy, and I'm going to click on this tread, and then click on this tread. So it's going 11 inches to there. So if I hit Escape, see it says 21 risers created. The only thing left now is for me to click on these green lines and just stretch those up using the grips. So just click and then stretch. Now right away you'll probably notice the blue line. The blue line represents the run and it doesn't really work that well to edit it. I would just leave it alone and the other advice that I would give when working with stairs is if you have to do something drastically different just start a new stair. Erase the one you have, start a new one. Don't try to edit it too much. Like if we wanted to turn this into a spiral staircase or a straight run you know, something like that, you probably would end up spending more time trying to edit this one than just making one right from scratch. Okay, so we've done a little bit of editing on this sketch. Let's just hit the green check mark. that's finish edit mode. And then there we go. So if we go here to the default 3D view again, we can just creatively spin this around. So I'll just zoom in and then shift middle mouse button. And now you can see that that riser actually goes down to there. That's all the landing right there. Now we have a little bit of an issue with our railing here, but we're going to just leave it at that. One last little thing. What if you just wanted to look at this stair and this stair alone? You could click on the stair, and then you've got these little sunglasses down here. I'm just going to click on that. What you could do is you could isolate the element, and now you could just spin this thing around and just look at that stair. If you want to set it back, just go to the sunglasses again, Temporary Hide Isolate, and then you can click on Reset, and then it's right back to normal.